Welcome to the first annual Golden Chisel Awards. Those are the awards for the best woodworking content creators of 2018. Hola woodworkers, Paul Carlson here, small workshop guy. We've picked some winners in a number of different categories for woodworking for 2018. And so uh, we're pleased to present that to you today. This is the first annual, hopefully this will be a an, an event that we'll do annually. How about that? So anyway, well, let me tell you about the judges first. The uh, judges for this uh, was a distinguished panel. They consisted of me, myself, and I, and then I had three outside judges as well. One of them is a fellow known as the Wood Screamer, Mark Spatula. And then another one is a little carpenter from Victoria, British Columbia, Sam the Carpenter. And then the last one, and I'm not sure where he's from, but he phoned in his observations, is a guy named Nubby Stump, James Hammy. So that's our distinguished panel of six. Let's get on to the awards. Now, I would open the awards with an envelope and a lot of drum roll and a lot of ceremony, but I could never get a chisel sharp enough to cut paper. So we're going to dispense with the envelope opening. Uh, by the way, I can't show you all of the judges uh, in a group picture because they are primarily voices in my head and I only hear them one at a time. So no group pictures this year. All right, drum roll please, if I can find one and, and record it on here. Uh, the first award is for the most comprehensive set of videos that are helpful to beginning woodworkers. And I've got a number of candidates in this category. Steve Ramsey, the uh, Woodworking for Mere Mortals. Colin Kanesh, uh, Woodwork Web. Jay Bates of Jay's Creations, Mark Stagnola of The Wood Whisperer, uh, Matt Estelia, how do you, E-S-T-L-E-A, Estelia, uh, and then uh, David Pesciuto of Make Something, and then finally in this category, we have Stumpy Nubs, uh, James Hamilton. So those are the runners that, that were voted on, and our distinguished panel, chose, well, that's close as I can get to a drum roll, uh, Mark Spagnola. Uh, his stuff is really, really good and very educational for beginners. Runner up uh, in my category, or for me, is Stumpy Nubs. I, I seem to be uh, watching more of his stuff these days and he's doing a lot of content. Uh, content creators who did the best builds during the year. And uh, we have some categories there. Samurai Carpenter for his uh, workbench. Actually, it's probably two years ago. His sawhorses, his patio furniture, his hot tub, his uh, redo of his leaking hot tub. So that's one candidate. Another one is Ishi Ish, Ish, Auntie Furniture. Uh, everything he does is absolutely uh, mind-boggling and spelling. Uh, and so I'm going to give the best builds of the year to Ishianti Furniture. By the way, in the comments down below, uh, it'd be uh, a lot of fun if you guys would uh, indicate who you disagree with and who you would put in various categories. And for my friends and family, you're probably not interested in this video because you're not woodworkers, but do me a favor, don't just exit, just let it run in the background till it runs all the way through or you're gonna screw up my uh, YouTube analytics. So uh, go ahead and leave, just leave the video running. We got a booby prize in the best build of the year and that goes to Mr. Bates and Mr. Stone for their really beautiful set of cabinets, I forget what they were going to originally be, but they ended up being uh, backgrounds for dartboards. You probably know the video I'm about. I give those guys a lot of courage for uh, showing their videos, but I got to tell you, 
Even though they didn't end up where they wanted to end up, if you watch that build up to the point where they made the mistake, there's a lot of really good educational stuff in that video. So anyway, even though it's the booby prize, it's one of the most educational ones out there. The best build that a beginner might be able to do, and uh, this is also subtitled the most prolific use of pocket holes, since beginners aren't very good with cutting dovetails. And that award goes straight to Brad Rodriguez of the uh, Fix This, Build That. Terrific set of educational videos and a number of videos that beginners could build. A number of builds that beginners could build. The most comprehensive resources and probably the award for the hardest working content creators, and by that I mean these guys not only do a build video, but then they also post an entire text and pictures on their uh, website blogs. And then they also do some posting on Instagram and Facebook. And then they uh, have their plans up on their web pages. And so they got these comprehensive resources for us on that build. And the candidates there are Stumpy Nubs, uh, does a good job there with his uh, supplemental. Woodwork Web, Colin Connett, Fix This, Build That, uh, terrific uh, backup stuff. And then Jay Bates. I don't know how these guys do it, but uh, I'm gonna give that award, or my distinguished panel of six of us are gonna give that award to Jay Bates. Uh, I don't know where the guy finds the time, particularly with a new baby in the family. The best hand tool only videos. Well, there's two substantial candidates for that, and that would be Wood by Wright, and that would also be Paul Sellers. They both show you how to use these hand tools. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna give that one to uh, Wood by Wright. Paul Sellers certainly has a lifetime achievement award for everything that he does and everything he teaches us, but the Wood by Wright videos show the best close-ups and the best explanations mixed in with a little bit of humor. So uh, good for him. The best action speaks louder than words video. That would be a video where the, not a single word is spoken, but you can sit there as a beginner or an intermediate or an advanced woodworker and you can see what they did and how they did it. And so you could actually replicate it or try to replicate it yourself if you had enough time and wanted to redo enough things. So in that category, I've got uh, Young G, he particularly shows you how to build a lot of jigs. The Ish Ishianti Furniture are my two candidates there, and Ishianti Furniture wins again. If you guys have not watched his series of videos, uh, please do so. Best Woodworking Podcast, well that is the Making It Podcast with David Pesciuto, Jimmy DeResta, and Bob Claggett the most manic presentation. I mean, <laughs> where the guy runs around like a crazy man uh, presenting something in woodworking. And that goes without a doubt to Sean Graham, the worth the effort guy for his 101 woodworking tips and, and tricks. Uh, <laughs> that was really, really educational. I put it on my calendar to watch it once every three months just so that I can continue to absorb all of the uh, techniques and trips that he, tips that he presented. He also, Sean, gets the best thumbnails. I think his are the most pleasing. <clears throat> I like his coloration, I like his type fonts. And uh, he also gets the best wood grain education series with his uh, basic 101 woodworking series. Most enthusiastic. The other one was manic. This one is enthusiastic. My candidates are David Pesciuto for Make Something, Steve Ramsey uh, for all of his stuff, and Jonathan Katz Moses, who really looks like he's putting in a lot of effort to his presentations at a high level of enthusiasm. And I'm gonna give that one to David Pesciuto for Make Something. He got two in a row there, didn't he? Most comprehensive use of an animal in his videos. Well, 
Uh, my candidates there are the Third Coast Craftsman, I think that's the name, Third Coast Craftsman, and with his big guy oots, and then uh, obviously Jimmy DeResta for his buddy Rocky. I don't know how Rocky has survived <laughs> in that workshop. I see him underneath the table saw and stuff. How do you know where he is before you start that puppy up? So anyway, uh, Jimmy DeResta and Rocky win that award. Jimmy also gets uh, the award for the best tips and techniques on the various power tools. So watch his videos <clears throat> on the uh, drill press, the band saw, the skill saw. He's got a whole series of them and he shows you the most practical stuff that you would never think of, but he just uses everyday things around his shop to, to be very effective. And then uh, he also gets the award for the guy who's the most abusive to his tools. If you see him at the end of his videos, go stick a knife or a chisel into a piece of wood. The uh, best tool reviews, well, I find that Highland Woodworking, of course, they're uh, in the business of selling you tools, and the Concord Carpenter, uh, and then Stumpy, Stumpy Nub, James Hamilton. I'm gonna give that to the Concord Carpenter, basic, basically based on one they did on, on all of the contractor saws. For the uh, most inlaid dovetails, inlaid with inlays, I'm, that award goes to Jonathan Katz Moses. And then uh, he also gets the best dovetail jig, one which I own. The most family involvement in the video creating process, that would be James King of King's Fine Woodworking. He's also a dang talented craftsman, and his stuff is very educated. The best jigs, the candidates in this category were Young G, who I have no idea what he looks like, but I know what his arm and his uh, sweatshirt look like. Izzy Swan, and then Matthias Wandel, for basically for his pano router, although that's probably not 2018, that's probably 2016 or 15. But anyway, I think that uh, award goes to Izzy Swan without a doubt, not only for his jigs, but for some other things. So uh, creative, creative, fun to watch guy. If you haven't watched Izzy's videos, uh, go ahead and do that. It's a delight. The most prolific growth in body art over their YouTube career. What? What? Oh, yeah, you're right. The Wood Whisperer. Suddenly just all sorts of stuff is growing on those arms. You watch some older videos and the more recent ones, and uh, I think you'll agree. The driest sense of humor. So uh, I have two candidates here, Matt Jackson for Next Level Carpent Carpentry and uh, William Ng. Uh, I'm gonna give it to Matt Jackson primarily based on his April Fool's video of the board stretcher by, from DeWalt. Uh, and that was so funny with his whiteboard presentation <laughs> and he went on and on. He also does the longest videos. So, uh, but William Ng, uh, he just throws in these little zingers, real low key, <laughs> and you have to think about it for a minute, and then you start laughing. So, uh, by the way, the best mathematics used in a woodworking video definitely goes to William Ng for his five cuts to a perfect crosscut sled. If you can follow that mathematics, then you're in the wrong uh, business doing woodworking. The best review of a brand new revolutionary power tool, I've already sort of mentioned it, but that goes to Matt Jackson, Next Level Carpentry, for his board stretcher. You've, cut, you've uh, measured twice and cut three times, and it's still too short, then use the board stretcher. Look for that video. I'm gonna skip the troll award. I'll probably get somebody upset if I do that one. The uh, women, who can do anything a man can do, only better. My candidates there are 3x3 three three Custom, Tamar, April Wilkerson, Anne of All Trades, and Laura Kampf. Uh, they can do stuff that I would never even think of 
taking on, including metalworking in cases and electrical. And I mean, they're fearless and, and they're good. I'm going to give that to April just because I've enjoyed her stuff so much uh, and watched her development. The most courageous video, uh, or maybe this should be titled The Most Naive. That's going to go to the newbie woodworker for his attempts to demonstrate kickback on a table saw. I mean, the guy damn near killed himself. And what he did show people was how very dangerous it is. And what he showed me was, don't try to do a video on kickback. I'll leave that to him. And uh, Stumpy Nubs did a really good one on that. The most well-rounded content creator. That's going to go to John Peters. The guy not only does woodworking and shows you how to do it real, real good quality, but he also does remodeling. He's an artist, and I think he's uh, quite a substantial sportsman. So John Peters is very well-rounded. The best workshop for a pure hobbyist. That goes, I mean, this, his, the guy's workshop's phenomenal. He's got hoist in there and all sorts of things, but that, that goes to Frank Howarth, H-O-W-A-R-T-H. The most inspirational, this is kind of like the last award uh, for me, and uh, the, the, the one content creator that inspired me to build something, uh, probably inspired me to go to a level that I wouldn't dare go to otherwise, uh, even provided a school and detailed content in order to try to teach me how to do it. And, and that, folks, is a challenge. Uh, and so I have built, I am building his workbench. I built his sawhorses. I built an outfeed table copied on his style. He has not done an outfeed table. But my most inspirational content creator, and I'm part of his uh, woodworking school, is uh, Jesse, the samurai carpenter. All right, well, that's my awards. Uh, first annual, I'll do it again at the end of 2019. Again, I'd like to see your comment. I'd like to make uh, one final uh, suggestion or plea for all of you out there to support these content creators. And that is, obviously, go to their Patreon, although there's some controversy there right now, but go, go support them through Patreon, buy their plans on their websites. Uh, but also, most of them have links in their descriptions of their videos to Amazon or to Rockler. Use those links. Uh, do, go to your five or six or seven or ten best content creators. Find their links, click on that link to go to Amazon or go to Rockler, and when you're there, bookmark that. There's no reason why you can't bookmark your top 10 content creators. In other words, go to each one, go to their link. When you get to Amazon, bookmark that. And so I've got a bunch of them. I say, you know, like Samurai Carpenter Amazon, uh, Stumpy Nubs Amazon, and so forth. So uh, do that. And then don't ever go to Amazon directly. Always use one of those bookmarks. Spread it around, but uh, no sense in buying stuff from Amazon without one of our uh, people in getting uh, support through the process. So please do that. I hope you have a safe 2019 in the workshop and you create some wonderful stuff. Small Workshop Guy, signing off.